I did not say that. I was drunk. Yes, you did. <laughs> you missed that one. I like Bailey's. I like Bailey's. Yeah. Alright, so I want to know how we came about the three people in the back. Sure, let's hear it. Um, Enlighten us. Well, um, we rented this uh, little like room in this industrial building on Grand Street in Chambersburg back in, what, 04, 05? 05, yeah. And him and I were in a band called Ajax. And not the soap. Not the soap. <laughs> and uh, Brian was in another band with Zach and somehow made like two bands out of, I don't know, it was like one more person. And there was this guy. No, that didn't happen. Oh, um, <laughs> so the one guy named Tom. He was, he was like a like a pothead, and so we kicked him out. And then uh, we kind of formed this, and we stuck with Ajax for a while. And then we didn't like that, so then um, I came up with the name partially with Zach, and then. Um, we moved to Waynesboro in like 07, and Brian left because he had some family things going on. So and I moved to Harrisburg. And he moved to Harrisburg, and he had two kids, and he got married, and they're awesome. <laughs> and uh, I'll just give you some props. <laughs> so good job on that, Brian. <laughs> Nerf gun battles. Oh yeah, we 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 have epic Nerf gun battles at his house. What? How is that epic. related to how you guys yeah, how is that related? I'm just plugging Nerf okay, guns in there because they're awesome. Anyway, um, Please continue with the story. So, from 2007 to about 2009, um, we rented and owned a music venue in Waynesboro, dubbed the Hell House, because uh, we had an air conditioner in there. And I broke it because I got mad one day and threw a lawn chair at it and it fell out the window. And we never got a new one, so it was always hot in there. But we had shows there for three years. And um, we had a guitar player named Eddie Beasley and a bass player named Andy. <laughs> Andy, her, 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 her. we don't like him. And then um, uh, we lost the uh, Hell House. And I moved up here, uh, got engaged to a beautiful woman. Yeah, she's not here right now. Is this storytelling or what? I'm giving the gist of what's going down with this band. Anyway, um, during that three years, we recorded two albums. And then before we moved up here officially, we recorded Fatal Fall. And uh, <laughs> so now we're just playing in Harrisburg a lot. And, you know, we're enjoying ourselves. And, uh, we don't really try to follow trends. Um, we kind of play uh, alternative style. It kind of went out like after '99. It's the stuff we grew up on, and we enjoy it. We're all just a Bieber fans. <laughs> 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 then I'm definitely not your fan. Wait, you should so see my Justin Bieber poster collection. <laughs> it's amazing. Tom, if you have that at the house, I'm kicking you out. This girl right here likes Justin Bieber. You like Justin Bieber? Yeah. Can I have my stick? I'm terrible. <laughs> <Sorry, no. laughs> he didn't win any Grammys. It's alright. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's okay. Back. Well, the one commercial, the one guy that's old and uh, was it AT&T? They said Justin Bieber looks like a girl. So, but anyway, supposedly Justin Bieber is a great drummer. Um, he sounds like a girl. Too. He's not a good drummer. He just. Babe. Like, he flails. <laughs> so anybody here play an instrument? What do you play, man? Guitar. Guitar, what do you play? Guitar and bass. Awesome. Nice. You guys should join a band together. Okay. And uh, <laughs> rock out. 
I have a Kurt Cobain poster in my room next to a Justin Bieber poster. Kurt and, on the awesome. Kurt, and on the Kurt Cobain poster it says Prophet. And then on the Justin Bieber poster it says False Prophet. <laughs> you said you like Kurt Cobain? You like Kurt Cobain? Awesome. You get a free CD. You're awesome. <laughs> but you don't get a new one though, you get an old one. I'm trying to the old ones are better. <laughs> yeah, they are. So... Do I say I like the two sides of the night? Do I get a free Phantom Blossom? You got free everything. No, seriously, Beth. If you think about it, like the older generation had like the Doors and Hendrix, and then our generation had like Pearl Jam and Nirvana. Well, what do we have in 2011? We got Justin Bieber. Two sides of the night. She doesn't know. No, we have, uh, I would say Nickelback, but they've been around for a while. Uh, what the what? What do, you, what do you guys think about rock? Tom. Rock now. Hush. What? Listen to this. Okay. She doesn't know who Kirkman is. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't know who Kirkman is? I'll politen us. Kirkman on the white hair. Who is he? Alright. Kirkman was born February 28th. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, uh, just go on YouTube and type in Nirvana and uh, you'll learn some things. You know who the Foo Fighters are. Okay, Dave Grohl, the singer of Foo Fighters, was the drummer of Nirvana, who is like one of my idols. Because um, the guy can play anything, do anything, make anything. He's amazing. Yes. What? Uh, we are we are actually going to try and make an actual official acoustic album uh, probably this spring if we get serious I love about you. it. Um, we know you love. Me. We normally, like, like I said, we normally don't do acoustic shows, um, because I got, like, a massive rack, drum rack. <laughs> oh. Dude, every time you hit the mic, you say something stupid. <laughs> this is why I don't get the mic. It's on film, we're going to put that on YouTube. I can mess with it. Yeah, I got a massive rack. You guys want to hear some more music? Yes. Okay. Um, we're gonna play slow, dead slow, because we don't have that much songs. Well, we do, but um, maybe Some of we're which are very difficult to play. Very. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. This is Michael Bain. Uh, rhythm guitar. He's shy. Lead. He's very shy. And that's Zachary Burkett. Vocals, lead guitar, and Ryan, bass, vocals, and um, stuff. Tall. And Tom King. Drums. Stuff. I get this and stuff. job. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Since he's got a massive rack, we gotta put him in the back. <laughs> Oh my Tom. Wow. See Megan, you're right. When he gets a hold of a mic, it's over.